Hiya, George here again, Thames Boilers. I'm up in the loft and we've got a valent boiler here with an F75 code um, and it's a bit unusual, it's not like your typical F75 fault. So I'm going to flip the camera around and show you what's going on and what I'm going to do. Okay, so we've got a boiler that's going to show up an F75 code in a minute. Um, so the valent uh, Ecotec Plus uh, A37 um, and I know we're going to get an F75 because while it tries to run the pump, this little symbol comes up. Hang on. You see that symbol? That means the pump's trying to run. I can't hear any pump kicking in. If I look here, this is our pump, and the pump isn't running at all. I can hear it buzzing from previous tests. I know there's voltage going to it, but it's not turning. And I've had a screwdriver in there. I've actually had a screwdriver in this section here. To see if I can get it to spin. You, you can manually try and unstick pumps like this sometimes, but it's having absolutely none of it. So that is our problem. We have got a seized pump on this boiler, so I'm just going to take it off. Usually, though, when you get an F75 fault, if I can sort out the lighting on this, you can't really see it that well. Let me get a torch. So usually, with an F75 fault, it's this thing here. I don't know if you can see the light on it. That's a low water pressure switch, and that's the cause of about, I don't know, 99 out of 100 F75 faults. But in this case, it's actually the pump, this thing here, that's gone, and I'm going to replace it. Uh, it's normally about between 160 and 200 pounds for a valent pump like this. Um, and it's about an hour or so to change, so I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So if you've got an F75 fault, it's normally just the low water pressure switch on the boiler, um, but sometimes you can get unlucky and it's a pump like this, or very occasionally it's a circuit board. So hope that helps, um, and if you need me, my contact details are on this video. Cheers, see you later.